Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode. Today we will be creating a health bar for the FPS game that we have been creating slowly with tutorials. Personally, I know there is quite a few health bar tutorials already out there, but I still want to make this tutorial for myself and for those that likes my content. Seeing how someone creates a game is always different to how others would create a game. So I'll add a health bar in this game where it shows your health as the player and by damaging yourself by pressing a button. For anyone just joining in, you can do this in a new project and other existing projects. I'll be using my last FPS multiplayer video project which you will see on the screen right now and check it out in my videos. Go to the hierarchy and create a new UI canvas and call it UI canvas. Inside of the canvas, create a new empty game object and rename it to health bar. Press on the 2D icon at the top left and scroll out. Click on the game window and click on free aspect and change it to 16 by 9 aspect which will shape the canvas to how I like to use it and it represents a close enough representation to most monitor sizes. Size and place the health bar at the position you want it to be. Click on the anchor presets and select top left if that is where you want the health bar to stay. If you have your health bar in the middle, then select center. Select the anchor as you have it set. Just make sure to select the correct anchor. In the link below, you can download the two colors I made using GIMP. If you have GIMP and want to follow along, then when you have GIMP open, click File, then New, and make the image size 1920 for width and 1080 for height, and click OK. Click on the active foreground color, and choose a red color for when the health depletes and export the image inside of your project. Make sure to create a folder inside of assets called textures and export as red.png. Once done, click on the color foreground again and choose a green color for when the health is full and export the image inside of your textures folder as green.png. Now that we have our two textures, head back into Unity and go to the Textures folder and select both images and change the texture type to Sprite 2D and UI and apply the changes. Click on the Health Bar Game Object and create a new UI image and call it Background. Click on the Anchor Presets and hold in Alt and select Stretch. Drag and drop the red sprite image in your textures folder onto the source image of the background. Duplicate the background image in the hierarchy with Ctrl and D and rename it to foreground. Drag and drop the green sprite into the source image of the foreground game object. Click on image type for the foreground object and select filled and make sure that fill method is horizontal and full origin is set to the left. If we adjust the fill amount, then we can see the foreground has the look of receiving damage to what the fill amount value is set. Create a new script and call it health bar and open up the script. When the script is open, then we want to bring in the value of health, which could be received from a different script, or if you just want to get a value from the inspector, like I am going to do now. We can remove the start method as we won't be using that for now, and we will add at the top range and the minimum value to zero and the maximum value to one and create a serialized field of float and call it health value equal one F. So this is where we can either pull in a method from another script called health and rather call in script here, but at the moment this will be our value variable. Then we can add serialized field of image and call it forward equal null. This will be used to get the full amount value that is on the image and adjust it with the value. 
click on the image and press Ctrl and period to select using unityengine.ui. In the update method, we will check if input get key down is space, then our health value will be reduced by minus equal 0.1f, which will be like 10%. And after the if statement, write foreground.fill amount equal health value. Now, when we press the space bar, then we will lose 10% of our health each time we press the space. And make sure that space is all in lowercase, or just check with the input system what the naming phrase is for the jump button. Input dot key down refers to only once the button is pressed once and not while it's being pressed every frame. If we return in Unity, then we can select the health bar game object and drag and drop the health bar script on top of it. Pass in the foreground game object with a full amount field and make sure the full amount range value is set on one. Play the game while not having maximum screen enabled and then just adjust the health bar value to see how it updates in the game and when we press the space bar then we can see how we lose 10% with each press. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you like the content I am releasing. It helps with increasing that YouTube algorithm goodness. Also, if you want to support the channel, Check out my Patreon page and join the Discord channel. Have a look at all of the links below. If you followed along with the code and it is still not working, then make sure to check out the pastebin link down below. Cheers.